I think one of the first things is how to have healthy relationships, you know, how to maintain healthy relationships with teachers, with parents, with friends, uh, online and offline, uh, because there are differences there, but essentially if you know, you're being kind and you're being positive and you, you're treating people as you'd have them treat you, you know, I mean, how many religions around the world espouse that as, as a core tenant? Um, and it's a fundamental human thing about establishing positive relationships. And if you can do that, then everything else kind of follows from it. Dan Hasler did a great talk on that yesterday. Uh, and, and all those issues of disconnection and disenfranchisement and uh, politically and economically and across the world, you know, if we're talking a global sort of project, um, can be curbed to some degree, I think, by having positive relationships and feeling that you belong to something. So I think that's a skill that, an active skill that students probably don't realise they need to work at. You have to work at friendships, you have to work at um, uh, intimate relationships as well, you have to work at relationships with teachers and that sort of thing. It's not just um, some static, um, you know, job relationship or something like that, perhaps. Um, so I guess that's that's one thing. Um, literacy, of course, and numeracy as, as basic skills, um, but not the um, the end result of, of, you know, 12 years. We don't just want kids to have basic literacy and numeracy. Um, empathy, I think, is a skill that can be learned and can be taught. Um, leadership to some degree. Um, of course, collaboration and creativity and, and all the Cs. Um, but I think it's, uh, it's misleading to put um, 21st century or E in front of things sometimes and, and say this is just stuff we've discovered. You know, these are innate human traits that we have been hoping kids grow up with for millennia and we, cont we will continue no matter what technology looks like, no matter how much machines are doing jobs for us and we can just sit back as a society and write poetry and write music and, you know, make films and it's all just pure creativity. Um, because all the sort of menial tasks are being done for us. Um, like that's the ideal world that we're living in, <laughs> you know, frolicking in the fields while the machines do all the work. Um, of course, there's the Terminator experience as well, but we'll, hopefully if we find some sort of middle road, that'd, that'd be nice in the future. Um, but it, it all comes from these skills that kids will have and will develop and grow. Um, and so I think the ability to adapt is a skill that possibly we don't teach in schools enough. Um, to adapt to, we expect kids to do it, but we don't necessarily teach it or spend time engaging with it. So there's a few ideas there.